Aquarius, look at you. Uh, got the second highest view this month. What's up, Aquarius? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not? Tarot. My name is Cock Frost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. So yes, Aquarius, I'm here to do your bonus November general slash love reading, my G. I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it. So if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle Aquarius, but I didn't lay any cards down just yet. We're going to do it together. To Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single Aquarius. Get no fit nuts. Info for private readings will be below the video. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch your head on the way out. Hit the alley. You'll be back in Turlan. I meant to tell you to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. Post it. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video. First. I meant to say that first. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. Love ya. I think I'm excited about your reading, Aquarius. I don't ever get a bonus for y'all. Air gang. Anyway. Let's get some messages for Aquarius uh, for the remainder of November. Messages for Aquarius for November. So three of swords came out. So this could be you or another air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. That's cutting some shit out, Aquarius, right there. Like the head, head, go, Aquarius. Here we go. Ooh. Somebody scratched up somebody's table. Mm -hmm. That's just what I had heard. Somebody scratched up somebody's table. I don't know what they scratched it up with or they put a, a cup down with no coaster. That's a no-no. But, uh, yeah, other than that, uh, Aquarius, you could be cutting out a fire sign here or uh, moving or telling somebody to get the fuck on. Some of y'all could be separating from a relationship. Uh, a fire sign could be trying to return to you, Aquarius. Or, yeah, if it's a fire sign, they will be trying to return to you. If it's another Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, you may be separating with this person, another air sign, Aquarius damn well i was excited i had said i do the choir give me another one for aquarius sneezing yeah this is the purging car you damn so telling people to get your shit get your shit and get out damn okay bernadette bernadine whatever her name was wait next hell like a motherfucker look wait next hell damn boogers uh some of y'all are moving because y'all just don't like your spot no more. You know what I'm saying? Where you're living. You're ready to get the hell up out of there. That part, Aquarius. Others of y'all, this is like a relationship or some type of stable something. It could just be a home or whatever the fuck. This could be a divine counterpart, soulmate. Somebody is done with someone. Someone is cutting someone out here. And maybe somebody didn't scratch up the coffee table, but they balling up snotty tissues and sitting them on that motherfucker. Like, you do know we fucking entertain in this bitch here, right? And sit our drinks here. I don't know. Somebody need to wipe their table down. Somebody Jeremy putting a little nasty ass. Yeah, my nasty ass. Yeah, my uh, some of y'all are get uh, writing off some type of job. You're just going to go after what makes you feel good, Aquarius. But you know that you kind of tampering with your stability when you do this. Uh, so be careful, Aquarius, for some of you who are doing this and don't know what the fuck you doing. You might end up hurting yourself. As far as quitting the job just because, man, I don't like this job. But how you going to pay for all this? Four wands, your home stability and all this shit. So be careful of purging shit, Aquarius, before you got some other shit lined up, Joe. Because some of y'all get fucked in the end like the villain with no Vaseline. Real shit. And this damn, or another air sign does. But you air. So somebody damn sure do. Blowing snot out your nose requires air. So it is air who regrets. Who regrets. Yeah, they regret it. <laughs> you going to regret it, mister. Uh, yeah, somebody got like a lisp or something or some type of i don't know but i like kids who talk like that more please but i want more yeah something like that somebody talk like that where are we going aquarius it's too early for this shit man hey i'm gonna scratch up coffee tables blue boogers on them kick somebody out quit your job damn all it uh before 12 p.m pst hmm Let's keep going, shall we? One on the three of swords cutting people out. Why is this here for Aquarius? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody go, gone, G. But I'm telling you, whoever quits a job abruptly, it's like someone leaves a relationship, a home, or some type of job or something abruptly. You end up worrying about money and bills and shit. Or you put somebody out 
abruptly or someone gets put out abruptly and they end up worrying about this person. Something like that, G. Aquarius, you could be uh, getting rid of a, a earth sign here. And this will be you getting rid of an earth sign. If, if it's an earth sign, either they leave and they ghost, but it's because they got money issues and could possibly be sick. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Or you cut this motherfucker out just because they got too many problems, G. But uh, somebody damn sure leaving. I don't know if they know, Aquarius, but you said, get the fuck on. Damn. Maybe they just sitting around like this here all day. Shit, that will make a motherfucker say, get your shit, yo. Yeah, it's causing problems in the home. Like, is you ever going to get up, clean up? I told you, look at the coffee table. I wasn't lying. Where the coaster? Where the coaster and where the lie, Aquarius? Mm-hmm. Somebody don't, you know, uh, air signs, we like nice shit. Use a coaster, man. One on the four ones. Mm-hmm. Ten of swords, ruin. There's damn sure a relationship over here, Aquarius. It's a lot of air out here. So you could either be dealing with another air sign. I got fire and earth out here so far. But I see a relationship or a home or some type of situation, some stability ending. I see somebody having money problems out here too, Aquarius. Someone worried about losing their home, maybe. I also see that. Maybe because someone loses their job or a spouse or someone, uh, a second stream of income is gone, Aquarius, is what I'm seeing here. And somebody's worried about how they go make ends meet, Joe. They need to, uh, in your defense or whoever that is, you is saying you need to cut out the worry though, Aquarius. Three of swords with the five of pentacles is saying don't worry. You know what I mean? Like, like the saying says, you can pray or worry, but you can't do both. That's what this is making me feel like. Put one with this ten of swords, one more. Because that's ruin right there. Nine of swords. Look, more worry. Damn, Aquarius, this damn show you or another air sign, G. Somebody is worried about losing a relationship or worried about someone leaving here. Some of these people are just worried about them leaving and just because they leaving. Other people are worried about this, uh, this person or this job or this home leaving because it like take some half a half of the income with them or some shit like that. Or they lose some money if this person leaves or if this situation ends or something like that. But it's ending, Aquarius. It is. Now, again, if you plan on quitting just the job all willy-nilly abruptly and shit, I say rethink that shit. You see how the doctor pointing at the trachea? Like, go drink some water, motherfucker, and think about this shit before you just, uh, you heard? Yeah. Somebody uh, has a bad day at work, and they be like, I'm gonna quit. Today, I'm just gonna quit. I don't know if you should do that, Aquarius or Crosswatcher. You gonna regret that. Not saying you won't bounce back, but you damn sure gonna regret it. What on purging? The purging lady here. Why is she here? World card. Damn. Yeah, some damn show ended. You got cutting shit out. Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and the universe, which is the world. Yeah, man. Some over. If y'all been feeling ill or allergies or some shit, I had the Rona. Shit, I feel like that's about to be over. I feel like Aquarius, you are trying to get out of your head, but we air signs. We overthink and think, and y'all like to read and research and think of some more on the research and reading that y'all had just researched and read and shit. Y'all love to go down the rabbit hole. They're telling me, uh, if this, if this type of thought, you know what I mean? This ruminating thought of you worrying about money or a relationship is, uh, getting to the point where you can't even focus on your money. It's time to cut that shit out. Cause that's what this is. It's like a, this worry is affecting you. I see stress out here, Aquarius. Real shit. What the fuck is going on here? Yeah. For the love of money. Ace of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles. Something, uh, maybe some lifestyle or something is coming to an end, Aquarius, or some like. Because it feels like luxury. This is a nice-ass house right here. Like, if I put the lady curtains here with the table and the white couches and shit, shit nice round you. It is, Aquarius. So somebody doesn't want to lose some type of luxury or some type of lifestyle they have. And that's what they're worried about. Because they still have five pinnacles. So you ain't broke, broke. You know what I'm saying? You just down here with us. Shit. Okay, Aquarius. I was not expecting this here this morning. Woke up in the hills this morning. Asking myself, how did I get here this morning? Yeah, on that Bryson Tiller shit. Yeah, uh, so maybe y'all got a downsize, Aquarius?
some say it's levels to the shit. Damn, look at all the levels that I skipped. Yeah, you must have skipped some levels, but uh. So shit, everybody got an uptown, uh, uptown. I don't know, maybe I live uptown. But I was about to say an uptime and a downtime, Aquarius. So this looks like a little bit of a downtime. But it, it's not like completely gone though. One on the Five of Pentacles, Three of Swords. You with somebody else? Shit. It's a lot. Err. Ooh wee. High Priestess came out with the Three of Pentacles on top of this Five of Pentacles. So some of y'all know a job is ending because five of pentacles, three of pentacles is eight of pentacles with the high priestess. That's just motherfucker. Just no shit. I know. I know. As soon as I get here, they're going to call me in office and tell my ass to leave. I just have a feeling. Some of y'all have a feeling you're going to lose your job. <clears throat> some of you guys have a feeling that either, <clears throat> excuse me, a Capricorn Taurus Virgo may want to work it out with you or a cancer pisces may want to come back and work something out with you aquarius after you and this person separated but somebody doing bad with money and shit they can't figure out how to make ends meet here you or somebody else don't have to be them signs but that's damn sure what the fuck going on and somebody damn sure know they about to lose their job they uh micromanage and be over your back all damn day aquarius look at this shit like breathing down your fucking neck and you don't say shit because you like man if i trip crib they gonna remove me and all this other shit and all this other shit. And I don't need them charges and none of that. So I'm a chill. But some of y'all know that something's coming to an end, a, a job or uh, some type of financial situation. That's number one. Number two, with this high priestess and the eight of pentacles, that's like focus to me. So uh, some of you guys need to use your intuition in regards to what your next move is. Because your next move got to be your best move, Aquarius. The way y'all trying to quit shit and kick motherfuckers out and moving shit. It's like cleaning day or some shit. I don't know, buddy. Who went on the four of wands, ten of swords, nine of swords for Aquarius? Why is this here for them in November? Damn, four of swords. Yeah, man. That's, 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 that's damn sure you. If you're dealing with an air sign, this person is worried, Aquarius. I mean, if you're dealing with another Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, they want to come home, Joe. They think about this shit. I mean, like, all die. You can stay all die. Yeah, they think about this shit like they name Miss Millie. Uh... I feel like they want you to calm your mind, though, Aquarius. It goes from the 10 to the 9 to the 4. So you skip the 8, 7, 6, 5, right? So you skip the mental imprisonment, the fuck shit, uh, the leaving the fuck shit, and mental fuck shit. So you know that this worry ain't no good for you. Basically, you go straight to the 4 from all of this shit. It's like uh, almost you can't control whatever this is, Aquarius, is what's going on. So some of you guys will have to cut back or move or do make some make some arrangements and shit if this money situation is really going down. But I feel like uh, with this eight of Pentacles, I feel like y'all gonna make the shit happen, Captain. Just listen to your intuition. I feel like it'll give you that idea that you're looking for to, to get this shit popping. Like so say you lost uh, say you were married or live with somebody or whatever Aquarius and this person moves out or whatever the fuck they lose their job and it's just you. Uh, I feel like you make ends meet. This worrying doesn't uh, help you at all, though, Aquarius. You are this air sign. Real shit. Somebody does have to leave a home, though, because of some fuck shit, though. They had, like, a, somebody figured out that somebody had a little mistress on the side. It could have been a Cancer, Pisces, or a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini somebody was fucking with. And they got to go. <laughs> they got to go. Somebody done figured it out and shit. Either you, Aquarius, or somebody else. One on this damn uh, world card and the Persian lady. There you go, Booski. There you go, Aquarius. It's the star card on top of the world card. So some of y'all are being purged out, real shit. Somebody's telling y'all to go, and some of y'all are telling others to go. But Aquarius, something is definitely ending here. I see y'all trying to be uh, in a peaceful state. It's almost like your mental versus your... Uh, intuition here because really all of this Aquarius with these cards is all like uh, you figuring shit out like uh intuitively though like you getting uh spiritual messages and shit star four swords with the high priestess three of pentacles you you will figure out whatever is going on Aquarius no diggity no doubt G that's why they telling me to tell you not to worry about it like go within and I know that shit sounds so fucking fortune cookie but that's what they telling me to tell you like go within like get out the mental part of it and you will like relax G relax if you're dealing with another Aquarius, that shit is over, Aquarius. Uh, one of y'all can't do it. It's like fucking yourself, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> 
Yeah, if it's, it's, if it's another air sign, it's kind of hard with y'all right now, Aquarius. I don't know what's going on. Y'all need a little break or something or y'all are taking one. But you know that the other wants to come back to the other one. But it's just bad when y'all get together. If it's a Cancer, Pisces, again, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, that shit may work out. But if it's another air sign or a fire sign, possibly, I don't know, Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Or this this person, Joe. Some of y'all's kids don't like to sleep in their bed. I don't know where they like to sleep, but they don't like to sleep in their own bed. That's got to come to an end. Somebody's like, that's enough, Ska. <laughs> that's enough, Ska. Huh? If you lose a job, Aquarius, I, I see you finding another one. You may not want to work there where you find another job, but you damn sure find another one real quick, too. Zero to 100 real quick. You do, but that's because, you know, you got to make these ends meet. Some of y'all got children uh, and all kind of shit. So it's like, uh, I can't just let this shit in. You know what I mean? I can't just lay here. You know what I'm saying? If I just lay here. Would you lie with me? Look, four swords. Ain't going to be nowhere to lie if you don't pay the rent. So that's why you will work wherever it is that you, you going to make ends meet, Aquarius. You don't want to lay on the sidewalk now, do you? No. If someone, uh, this is going to sound kind of strange for some change, but someone may have passed away in a home that you live in, Aquarius. Or you're worried about did someone pass away in this home? They did. Some of y'all know this person. Some of y'all move into a home where a person passed away in it and you didn't know. That's for someone. But they in there, Jack. Somebody has a trachea tube. Here. Or they're removing a trachea tube or a ventilator or something like that. Someone's getting a ventilator removed. Mm. Okay. I do see y'all being uh healed though, Aquarius. Um I see some uh physical healing here. Like something some illness possibly coming to an end or whatever the hell's been going on with you, Aquarius. I don't know, but it looks like it's coming to an end. Uh cuz that that is you. And then ending cycles with the lady sneezing. So I feel like y'all will start will start to feel better. You'll also start to feel better about whatever this is that you happen to lose or have to separate from. Eventually you will feel okay about it cuz you're going to realize and figure out that that's what was supposed to happen. Pay attention to your dreams and all that shit. Your intuitive messages, Aquarius, they are very strong, especially when you're uh lying down or in silence. One on the three of swords, five of pentacles, three of pentacles, and the high priestess. Two came out. So God's authoritative thumbs with the mature man. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Aquarius, you being led. Do not worry about, don't you worry about a thing. Don't you worry about that. Aquarius, three of swords, cutting out that worry, booski. You're going to figure it out. I'm telling you, you that motherfucker is what it's telling me, but... Whatever uh, you get led to, it's uh, it's almost like, uh, say Aquarius, you're like, I've been online and I filled out a thousand applications and I'm not getting a job. I don't understand. And let's just say this day, you're like, fuck it, man. I'm just being told to just chill and go get something to eat or whatever. And you run into somebody who happens to do whatever. It's like something serendipitous happens is what it's making me feel like. So your worry is not a problem for the most high. You know what I mean? It's almost like uh, this was supposed to big you up. Whatever this is that you separate from or lose relationship, home, whatever, it advances you to the next level in the game and it damn sure make you grow up some more, Aquarius. You learn some shit. Some of y'all gonna learn to keep y'all damn mouth closed talking to people at work about shit. Shut the fuck up. That's why some of y'all lose y'all jobs. Some of y'all done told people shit that ain't none of they fucking business and that shit get around. What you mean you don't know? Round and round, round we go, I get around. Yeah, some hoe ass man. The underground just don't stop for hoes. I get around. Yep, it's a whole ass man here. Anyway. Some of you guys, uh, someone, either you or someone else, Aquarius, I'm picking up Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces. Some of you guys may, or there's a masculine energy that gets some news from a doctor. He don't tell y'all what they said at all. He keeps it 
under wraps. He's worried about it. I feel like there's an older masculine male here that gets some news uh, from a doctor. And I feel like it's not necessarily good news. I don't feel like this man is like going to die tomorrow or anything like that. But it's damn sure shocking. And I feel like it does eventually end in someone passing away. My condolences if this has already happened. But I mean, I feel like it's an older man. Not that that makes it any better. Because shit, I love my papa. You know what I'm saying? I want him back today. So not that it makes it any better, but this is someone who's let, who's led a full life. And I feel like he doesn't tell people because he doesn't want his kids and shit to worry. And like, you know, so that is happening here. Some of y'all, as soon as you lose a job, you get a new job, literally. And uh, masculines, pay attention. You are specifically getting intuitive messages right now. One on the Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords, Four of Swords, and the Four of Wands. Why is this here for Aquarius in November? Some of y'all ain't even answering somebody, Aquarius. That's damn show you done block somebody or just won't answer them. Or you just cut them a whole new asshole when you do answer. Like you hit them with a riddle and shit. You know what I mean? Like like I said, two Aquarius is meet like a, I don't know. Y'all be doing shit like that. Like just break up with them. Why you got to play with your food, Aquarius? Why you got to ask them all these questions? Well, what would you do if two were two and two were me and I were you? Like what, motherfucker? What does that mean, Aquarius? Yeah, I don't know. That's how y'all be talking. No, I told y'all, y'all research it, read it, then reread it, research it again, then think about it and think about if you read it the way that it was researched. And if you had researched it, would you have read it that way first? Or would you have read it first and then tried to research it? Right? All that shit where you be like, huh? Huh? Aquarius figure that shit out though. That is y'all. That sounds like y'all. Y'all want somebody on your level for sure, Aquarius. I feel like y'all looking for somebody who, who think, put their thinking cap on, Booski. For those that are single, some of y'all may meet somebody at work, though, or somebody that you work with. Y'all gonna have, like, a little secret relationship. I don't know. One on the four of wands, ten of swords, nine of swords, four of swords. What is that? Tatiana. Mm -hmm. So either you, Aquarius, because it's on air. With the ten of swords, nine of swords, four of swords. Either you, another, uh, excuse me, either another Aquarius uh, such as yourself, Libra or a Gemini, you and this person are, uh, somebody a hoe, man. I told you that I had picked up on a male hoe, but it's a female one too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> real shit. Uh, Aquarius, you are worried about this and who this person may be sleeping with now or where this person is going to go if, when you and this person separate if this is a relationship or like what's going to happen. It's a lot of worry here about what another motherfucker doing though, or what's going to happen at like, it's something you can't control though. I told y'all this was supposed to end. Uh, you were supposed to put this to rest with Tatiana, Tatiano. It's almost like, that's why they telling you why you worrying about Tatiana, Tatiano. You got other shit to worry about Aquarius. This person worried about your ass too, but whenever Tatiana, Tatiano comes out, they codependent. That's my codependency card. So you could be worried about this person just because you always were there for this person or this is someone in regards to you, but they know that like this shit ain't going nowhere. It's like you don't do shit. You don't you cheat, you lie, all kind of shit. Wow. I do see some ending with a Tatiana, though. If somebody was worried about that, especially if Tatiana is another air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. She's still texting this motherfucker, though. And he's still texting her back. Even though, I don't know, y'all. What the fuck, Aquarius? Somebody's still talking to Tatiana, even though they separated. And someone's being told to leave Tatiana alone, too. Mm, I do declare. One on the Persian card, world card, star card for Aquarius. Here you go over here, Aquarius. All the way at the end, minding your business. Walking up the steps and shit, leaving. Leaving. Toil and labor and courthouse. Yeah, no wonder. This shit was too hard, matey. Yeah, this relationship was too damn hard. Look at this shit. Toil and labor doing some shit you don't want to do. But I do the shit because I got to do the shit. That's why I told y'all. For some of y'all who uh, are going to quit the job and shit and don't have no other backup plan, I would rethink that plan. 
You know what I'm saying? Unless you got some backup shit here. Three of Pentacles with the mature man. A mature motherfucker got a backup plan. My mama always said, don't quit no job before you ain't got no other job. It's always easier to find a job when you got a job. Real shit. So that's what this feels like here. In regards to a relationship, it was too much motherfucking work too. Uh, Aquarius, if you were dealing with a Libra, uh, I don't know. One of y'all want to work this out. One of you guys do not. So I don't know. Somebody getting purged out this relationship. Some of y'all got uh, legal issues y'all trying to figure out too, but I feel like that's about to come to an end. I see legal shit coming to an end. Uh, divorces being final and shit like that. I do see work contracts being ended though here, uh, Aquarius. I do. And that sends somebody into like, oh, who am I? Because Tatiana is codependency, but I feel why she's out here though. Because it's like, well, damn, what am I going to do? I don't want to ask my mama for money. I don't want to have to. Somebody thinks all night, like, what the fuck am I going to do? They telling me to tell you not to worry, Aquarius. Tap into your higher self and shit and let God lead you with his authoritative thumbs. And you do figure something out. You do. Shit, you fucking Aquarius. You done researched it, reread it, wrote it again, then researched it again, read it, thought about I mean, come on, Aquarius. You done made a list and check it twice. You just a dedicated motherfucker. Y'all ain't never met no Aquarius that ain't never, uh, I mean, that hasn't pulled themselves up. Aquarius the type of person that'd be like, I don't have no money, but they always got a car, got good shit, nice shit, all this shit. Like, I thought you didn't have no money. Like, not to spend. <laughs> I got money for bills. It's almost like uh, that's just the mold y'all gonna kick in. Or if y'all were uh, someone was living with you or relationship, you just kind of bounce back. Shit, the bounce back. Last night took a L, but tonight I bounce back. Shit, I've been broke as hell. Cash the check and bounce back. D-Town LAX, every week I bounce back. If you a real one, then you know how to bounce back. I woke up in beast mode. Yeah, that's all, Aquarius. You a real one. You know how to bounce back. Shit. Anyway. Aquarius, that's been your reading for the remainder of November. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single Aquarius getting no fit nuts. Still, thank you for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not? Tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the ghetto nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your fans. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye.